<laughs> From the hinterlands to the capital, Hargeisa. Millions of sheep and goats are on the move in the small public of Somaliland. The animals are en route to Saudi Arabia for use as sacrificial offerings for Muslims making the Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca called the Hajj. The livestock trade to the Middle East accounts for 60% of Somaliland's gross domestic product and 70% of its jobs. Some Muslims consider the black-headed sheep to have religious significance relating to the Prophet Abraham. Maulid Hassan Jama has worked at Hargeisa's livestock market for 10 years. I earn my livelihood from this livestock, and secondly, I feel I am supporting the Islamic community and having a good Hajj festival. Once sold in the markets, the animals are trucked to the Red Sea port of Berbera, where they wait in quarantine for weeks, receiving blood tests and vaccinations. Past accusations of disease among Somaliland's livestock led Saudi Arabia to temporarily ban imports of Somaliland's animals. Government veterinarian Ali Mahmoud Guled says the Berber quarantine holds over a million animals at the height of the Hajj. It's very, very important we guarantee that no disease is, is carried, you know, infected to the, to the imported countries. Because then that will affect us economically, drastically, to start in a ban of our livestock. So we make sure that each and every animal living here is uh, free of disease. After quarantine, the sheep and goats load onto ships holding between 20 and 120,000 animals. The animals are often loaded at night when the air is cooler. Somaliland now faces competition from Sudan, Australia, and other countries who also export livestock to the Hajj. Abdi Osman Haji, a researcher with the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, which supports the livestock sector, says Somaliland must modernize its industry to stay ahead. Even so, the annual export of animals from Somaliland to Saudi Arabia remains vital for both countries. Jason Patinkin for VOA News, Berbera, Somaliland.